Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel on how to switch on the assistive touch feature on the iPhone SE. If you're like me and you've got a situation where your home button doesn't actually work, you'll have to spend probably about 179 Canadian dollars at Apple to get it fixed but the assistive touch button will help you to use the home button and switch between apps. I've restarted my phone. I'm going to type in my um, password and uh, you just need to go to the settings feature here. And you should come up with this uh, screen. Uh, just pull the screen down. You'll see the search button here on the settings. And what you want to do is type in general. Uh, so it should come up, so click on general, and it should take you to this screen here. Then what you want to do is you want to go down to accessibility, which is just about here. And you should come up with a screen like so. And then you want to go all the way to the bottom. And you want to go to assistive touch, which is just about there, if you can see it. Um, mine is set to off at the moment. You want to turn it on. And it, this is how you turn it on. And you can see it's now turned on. And you can see the assistive touch feature just appearing there. Uh, you want to check the settings on the assistive touch. So if you go all the way to the bottom, Go to custom actions, and under custom actions, you'll see if three things you'll see single tap, double tap, and long press. You want to make sure the single tap is set to home, which it is on my phone. You can see here it's got a tick next to home. Just click on back. Then you want to go to double tap, and this is for the app switcher, which will allow you to uh, change between all the apps. Make sure it's ticked, and you can see here it is ticked. So, there. And then you click on back, and um, if you now try the feature out, if I just do a single tap, it goes back to home. If I do double tap, it goes, it switches between the apps. And this is how you turn on the assistive app feature on your Apple SE phone. And uh, hopefully we'll save you some money instead of spending $179 um, Canadian dollars in repairing it. I hope you found this video useful. And um, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.